So I am going to open with one key word, which is just wow. These D9 irons fly off the face. There's no other word for it. They feel incredible when you strike them out of the middle. And even when you don't, my God, they just go and go and go. I just hit a bunch of shots just then. I'm gonna show you the data very, very shortly. Uh, and you're gonna see how far these things actually travel. Now, for those of you who haven't kind of been in the market for Wilson Staff irons lately, if you are looking for something that's going to give you distance, forgiveness, high launching, low spin, get these irons in your bag. They are absolutely phenomenal. So skipping ahead, we need to then talk about some of the tech that they've got in here. Now, again, from an aesthetic standpoint, uh, straight off the bat, they look really, really nice. They uh, are game improvement iron. They are for players that want distance. They want that kind of length and forgiveness off the, uh, off the club. But again, when you look down on them, they don't actually look chunky, they don't look too big, they don't look like one of those things that uh, you get in your hands, you sit it down there behind the golf ball and you're like, well, I'm not sure, I'm not comfortable about playing that. They look quite streamlined. You know, when you see a little bit of the cavity behind kind of uh, sticking out, but honestly, not too bad at all. Aesthetically, pretty damn pleasing, which is good. That's always nice from a game improvement iron. You never want something too big, can be a little bit off-putting. They've got these urethane filled power holes. Now, what they are is, or Wilson staff say, they created these urethane filled power holes to create maximum face flex, and by doing so, they've created maximum ball speed, all within legal limits, of course. But again, you'll see in a second, the ball speed is just phenomenal. So basically, by doing that, they've created more ball speed, and they've also lowered the CG, the center of gravity, to create a nice high launching shot, but also create a lot of forgiveness on the face also. So you've got ball speed, you've got distance, you've got forgiveness, it's honestly just a complete package. Going up into the other techie stuff is you've got the shaft. So the standard shaft here is the KBS Max Ultralight shaft. Uh, comes in all your different flexes, of course, in steel. And then you've also got the Lambkin Crossline Genesis grip. Uh, those are stock. They can always be adjusted if required. So let's get into my shots. Have a look at the couple ones I hit, and I'm going to run you through in a moment all of the data, which you are going to be shocked. So as I mentioned before, they just fly off the face. These things are hot. They come off with a ridiculous amount of ball speed. The smash factor is huge, and the carry in total is amazing as well. So let's just run through some of those numbers. So my club speed is pretty uh, pretty consistent. Again, that, that's kind of normal around my seven iron anyway. Uh, my ball speed, as you can see here from smash factor, is just, it's huge. My seven iron is nowhere near that. Um, peak height's pretty good. And then my carry and total is, is just where the most impressive numbers are there. So as you can see, in a variety of different shots, grouping's not too bad. I do tend to draw it a little bit. You'll see on one of my other videos that I'm gonna post uh, shortly, I was actually hitting little cuts. So it's actually uh, back to my normal ball flight, which is great, but my carry and total's nowhere near this. So I'd be hitting my seven iron 155, maybe 160 carry. So it's a huge jump up in distance there with still a pretty good spin rate. Um, and also from a land angle perspective, it's really quite nice as well. So it's not flying through the air super low with no spin and then basically landing and just running a whole bunch. So, and this is with, of course, again, I don't have a massively high club speed, probably uh, definitely higher than the average punter out there. But again, if you t uh, kind of tone that down a little bit, you're still gonna get a phenomenal carry in total out of this. And remember, I didn't hit a lot of these that well, which is, uh, which is pretty important to note because some of these mishits here still kind of went, this one in the middle still went around, uh, what's that, 170 meters in carry? Unbelievable. So uh, basically some really good data there, really nice to show you kind of what happens when you strike these off the face. And even when you miss it, they just keep flying. So as you can see there, these clubs, as I've mentioned, is there's no words for it. Like I've never hit an iron where off the face, you can just, you know, as soon as you strike it, that ball's going. So for those of you, as I was mentioning before, who haven't kind of considered Wilson Staff as an option, definitely put these in your book. 
have a look at them, see how they feel, or even just chuck them in your set. Like I said, you will not be disappointed if you get a set of these, if you're in the market for that distance iron that is just gonna launch and go far down the fairway comparatively to what you've got in your current set at the moment. Also from a price point perspective, you can't beat them. They are amazing price point wise. There'll be a link below in my video here, which will give you some of the details in the prices. But again, like you say, prices have gone up very, very slightly with your Wilson Stars, but again, price-wise comparatively to other irons on the market, phenomenal. So if you wanna get an affordable iron that's going to be forgiving, that's going to give you distance, don't look past these little babies here. These are gonna be awesome, and I can't wait to get these in your hands going forward. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you got some information out of there, and hopefully you'll try out these Wilson Staff D9 irons as well. Uh, feel free to uh, comment below, and please remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest information, and any questions, let us know.